what are slicers? So uh, here we have a big da table of data. And let's say we want to present this data at a meeting and then dynamically kind of play with it during the meeting to show people different information at different times. So slicers will allow data to be filtered in a more visual way. And you can see what data has been included more easily with just a glance. And if you want to insert a slicer, you just go to the pivot ribbon, choose analyze, and slicer. So I'm going to go up to the pivot ribbon, choose analyzers, and I could choose insert slicer right there. And right now I have the manufacturer and the salesperson slicer showing. So I have manufacturer and salesperson. Maybe I'd also want region right there. So I click OK, and a region slicer comes up. But what does that mean, a slicer? What if I just wanted to see how people did in the West? Now it's only showing me sales in the West. Or what if just the East, or just the North, or just the South? Or if I want to select East and South, and West, and North, there's all those. What if I just want to see how Michael Goff did? So I just click Michael Goff. Or how about the two Brown brother and sister? There we go. That's how they did. Or all of them. I can hold down Shift, select all of them, click the bottom one first, and hold down Shift and click the top one. Selects all of them. How about just Big Agnes, our best customer? There we go. Or our best manufacturer. Or all of them. Or Big Agnes compared to North Face. There we go. So slicers allow you to come in and just visually kind of see what is and is not selected. Right? So here is what Ruth Brown sold in the North region of Marmot. You know, and then come back here and select them all to see all the data again. So that's what slicers are. Good for presentations. Cool for playing around with, too, when you're just trying to understand your data. What about creating a chart? If we wanted to create a chart of this data, so I could click in here and get my pivot table fields up there.